Hello friends and welcome to the Saitama Stacker channel. Hey, Wolfpack, I hope you're having a great day. Um, it's been kind of a, another one of those days that's just wandering sideways, which is fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, you'll see it in the fundamentals when we look at them that things seem to be slowing down a little bit in terms of activity and you know, I, I mean, we can make some assumptions, but I don't really have anything specific to point to aside from the fact that Ethereum uh, gas fees seem to be quite, uh, quite high. Um, I went to place a trade myself and uh, got some sticker shock. Uh, I actually saw a gas fee that was nearly $500, okay? And we're talking about transacting on $1,000 in tokens. So not a trade that I was willing to make at that price. And uh, so we'll, we'll wait. <laughs> that, that's something that we need to get sorted out with the Ethereum blockchain. So I think that could be some of the reason we're seeing the activity come down a little. Um, I think people are waiting on the um, Cytomask wallet which comes out now in less than a week. We're six days away, seven days away, I guess. I'm thinking tomorrow or today, Sunday. We're actually Saturday. So a week from today, launch of the Cytomask wallet in Las Vegas, Nevada. Very exciting. Friends, if you're here for the very first time, please know I only make these videos for entertainment and education and community building around the Saitama token. So if you're going to um, plan on buying Saitama, please do so of your own free will and uh, and do your own research before you add it to your portfolio. All right, we're going to talk about a couple of things that are interesting today. Um, trying to do a little bit of research on this whole metaverse concept. I talked about it a little bit in yesterday's video. Russell was talking about it in the AMA with the developers. He released a tweet yesterday. We'll look at that and explore into this just a little bit. And, um, and we'll finish up with some reflections today. So let's jump right in to what's going on with Saitama in the fundamentals, okay? So currently 183,522 holders. That's an increase of 4,406 from yesterday. From when I did my show prep yesterday to today, we are ever so slightly up in market cap, which means we are also ever so slightly up in the price. So... I don't mind sideways trading. I, I like that. It shows that we're building a strong base and a strong foundation for when we have our next rise. So um, technical traders like some good consolidation or the sideways trading and because uh, it, it does. It shows strength of where the bottom price can be. So not looking too bad. We're almost at a $10 billion market cap. I mean, we've been showing that for several days now. Of course, the fully diluted market cap takes into account all of the originally minted tokens. The market cap is based on the circulating supply. So we generally look more at the circulating supply versus the, uh, or the market cap versus fully diluted market cap. But using either one of them, you will end up deriving the same price. All right, volume slightly down, but still pretty robust at nearly 70 million. Uh, our rank stays at 47. Of course, that's unofficial because coin market cap is not uh, calling us official. <laughs> They're essentially saying that that's based on our reporting and not on their verification. So hopefully we'll be verified uh, soon. Our um, burn is just about in that 55.7 range. We're slightly under that, but not by much. Just a little bit of rounding and we're 55.7. Burn speedometer saying we're slowing down just a little bit. That volume versus price, we would be 68 days to burn 1% or about 5.34% burn per year. And tokens burned in the last 24 hours is right at about 5 trillion. Okay. So I'd like to see that volume kicking back up. And I'm sure that as we launch the Cytomask wallet, we could see the volume go crazy. Honestly, um, if every token that'll be listed in the Cytomask wallet is paired with Saitama, that should increase our volume. The ease of use of the Cytomask wallet should increase our volume and hopefully lower fees, 
will help us increase the volume because people like me uh, are not going to trade in the DeFi space if you're going to tell me that my fees are half of the amount that I'm trying to invest. And uh, so we need to get that under control. All right, let's jump into this metaverse idea. Okay, so in Russell's Twitter feed, uh, just about 24 hours ago, he dropped a tweet that says, Saitama plus metaverse equals Saita City equals mind blown. We will change the way people shop, do business, view events, buy NFTs, play games, interact socially, and learn. All from home in a safe, controlled environment. Not a coin, a movement. Okay, so I'm trying to get my head around what is this metaverse idea. And it turns out that most of you that have kids, they probably know more about the metaverse than uh, you do. Because one of the games that's called out as a metaverse-like game is Roblox. Okay, so I'm going to creep in here to a little Google search about what is the metaverse. And what we learn is um, people like Facebook are looking at this, but they call it an, a world of endless interconnected virtual communities where people can meet, work, and play using virtual reality headsets, augmented reality glasses, smartphones, uh, smartphone apps, and other devices. And then if you look at metaverse and crypto, there is a cryptocurrency called the Sandbox. Um, it's actually been out for quite some time. It's been around, it sounds like, since 2011. I'll show you in CoinMarketCap in a minute. But it's one that essentially it has a game. And that game is, in a sense, a metaverse or kind of a virtual reality place where people who are playing the game can interact within the game. Um, you can own things in the game. And essentially using crypto, you can have those digital assets have some type of a crypto monetary value. So I think it's interesting. And then the last one that caught my eye in this was um, what they're saying that the conclusion, how much is the metaverse worth? Uh, this says our conclusion... By 2025, gaming business communication and advertising in the metaverse could be worth at least $82 billion, a little less than what Facebook made in the last year of ad advertising alone. Okay, so $82 billion, pretty large. Um, that's, you know, they're talking about advertising in the metaverse. So if you have a virtual world, people can virtually advertise. And those of us who are consumers you know, are going to be affected by that advertising and could be making transactions within the metaverse. Um, you could virtually be shopping um, with, you know, augmented reality 3D headsets and be able to feel like you're walking through the grocery store, picking out what you want, I guess. Um, but they talk about Epic Games and Roblox. This is where I got that Roblox. And there's, I know kids, my own kids, I've seen them play Roblox uh, before. So um, interesting. I just think it's fascinating. And with our forward looking development team, if there's a way to participate in this, I'm sure we're going to be uh, hearing about it. Okay. So here in uh, CoinMarketCap, this coin, the Sandbox, is currently raked number 70. It has been on a bit of a run here lately. Um, big run up. I actually heard some other influencers talking about it recently. I don't know anything about it. I'm not telling you to look into this or buy it. But what I'm saying is this is a cryptocurrency that's currently associated with this term metaverse. And so... Um, <clears throat> It's already something that exists. This is not something that we have to create from scratch, but it will be interesting what Cyta City brings. If that can be incorporated into the Cytomask wallet, virtual education, virtual shopping, you know, it, it's a step beyond just looking at your screen and going through and picking items out of a list. It's a virtual world where you could see something, where you could rotate it in space and get a better feel for what you uh, what you might want to see or what you might want to buy. 
So interesting. I'm, I'm just barely starting to creep into understanding what this whole metaverse thing is about. All right. Before I do my reflections for the day or my rewards tokens, I want to tell you about security one more time. Okay. I have a, a comment in the last video that is heartbreaking where a gentleman named Jeremy says, how easy is it for people to hack a MetaMask wallet? And, um, that at four in the morning, all of a sudden, 38 billion Saitama tokens were transferred from his account. I asked him the usual, the like standard questions, like, could somebody have your seed phrases? Did you get a dusting attack? Um, you know, have you tried to transact on any tokens that just magically showed up in your account? The answer to all those appears to be no. But he also lost some Ethereum in this uh, attack. So everybody just... Be as careful as you can. Um, be careful about visiting websites, about giving any information that would link people back to have the ability to try to scam you out of your tokens, okay? Um, I have a hardware wallet coming. The one I am uh, have already ordered is a Ledger. The Ledger has a couple of different products. They have the, uh, the Ledger Nano X, and they also have a Nano S. Apparently, this Nano S is a little more readily accessible. The shipping time, or they told me when I purchased my X, that the lead time on shipping it was about three weeks. Um, there is another hardware wallet called Trezor. So this Trezor, um, I don't know a ton about, but I do know that Just Moonshot is looking at multiple different hardware wallets. So if you're interested in hardware wallets and you're concerned about the security of your cryptocurrency, just Moonshot, okay? That's his Twitter, or not his, it's his YouTube channel, just Moonshot, like the moon, M-O-O-N-S-H-O-T. Um, he has quite a bit of content around these hardware wallets. And uh, so I would just point you that direction. I'm not an expert in it, but we've got to be careful with our coins. It's heartbreaking to hear these kind of stories. And I don't really know what the remedy for that is. So if anybody has had an attack inside your wallet and you can give us any words of advice, or if you've talked to the um, folks that do um, support for these different crypto platforms and you've had any luck with that, please post it in the comments. Be very careful what you read in the comments. Anybody saying, oh, I can help you with that, or all you need to do is fill out this form. I've actually seen people trying to scam people in the comments or on Twitter. You don't want to tweet out. I, I think I might, you know, I, I can't figure out how to do X in my wallet. Can I get any help out there? Because people will send things or, re, or you know, respond to your tweet with things that are scams. I saw one um, that I actually showed on my uh, video one time where they send a Google form and it said, all you have to do is fill this out and their support team will contact you within 15 minutes and your problem will be solved. Well, right in there, it's like, give us all your information and your seed phrases. And if you're brand new to crypto and it was branded with the actual, it was trust wallet on that one, I mean, they're scammers. This is what they do. They're pretty good at making it look legitimate and they will steal your tokens, okay? So be very careful, okay? Be untrusting when it comes to the crypto space uh, for people offering you help. But at the same time, guys, if you have had a positive experience, um, and guys, don't do sidebar discussions. Don't go to somebody's WhatsApp don't give your wallet address to people if you don't know that it's someone who can be trusted, okay? It's just, it's scary out there a little bit. Um, and that's what, one of the things I like about the centralized exchanges, and they can be hacked. People have lost money on the centralized exchanges, but they do seem to have a little better security than um, what we see in the DeFi space. Uh, now that's where these hard wallets come in. You can link your DeFi um, tokens to the hard wallets and they basically become unstealable because your keys are held in such a way that you have to approve anything that happens in your wallet with the hardware wallet. So, all right, 
Reflections from yesterday, I received 107,562,000 new free Saitama tokens. Okay, that brings my total since August 31st up to 15,673,000,000 tokens. And at the current prices, it's about $1,457. So something I enjoy, these reflections, okay? Even though it's a flat day and the price is staying relatively the same, I get a little reward every day for being a holder of Saitama. Uh, people who've asked about BitMart, it does sound like BitMart will be doing rewards that they will send them out once monthly around the 10th of the month. So we've got this week, we will find out if that's true or not. All right, folks, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Keep yourself safe. Keep yourselves healthy. Check back with me tomorrow. We will watch our Saitama stacks grow together.